back to the Sea Butters channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Nexus 7 Android device and uh, put it in an automobile uh, usage case. Uh, we're going to strap that onto the dash of my Mazda Speed 3 and take a look and see how it performs along with a Zenomix X2 7 inch tablet holder uh, that will also be on the top of the dash holding that in place and we're going to kind of look at the functions and see how a Nexus 7 can perform as a tablet device. Maybe you have a phone and you, you, know, you don't really feel the need to have an additional tablet device to carry around, you got a laptop, whatever. Uh, maybe there is room for a, one of those 7 inch tablets in your life as a uh, automobile dash replacement. So we're going to take a look at that and see what you think. Okay, first things first. Uh, as you can see here, I've mounted uh, the Nexus 7. Uh, what I'm going to do is pull it off of this device. Uh, this right here is the Zenomix X2 uh, and it actually is a very nice holder for a 7 inch tablet device. It has both a suction cup and also a uh, kind of sticky pad sticker that holds it down to the dash and it's pretty solid. So I thought we'd get another shot here of the Zenomix ZX2 7 inch tablet holder. Uh, so you can see the suction cup on the side and it's got some uh, feet underneath there that uh, really help keep it in place and, and keep it really solid. Uh, it's a really great uh, car dock solution, especially for this car. This is a Mazda 3, Mazda Speed 3, but same type of dash as any Mazda 3 that you might have. Uh, so solid in fact that it is able to hold the, uh, the Nexus 7 in place uh, quite well. Uh, one of the things that I like about it is, you know, it's wide here. Uh, it's able to uh, withstand any G-forces sliding around, um, and it is really quite solid. I'm going to go ahead and show you a few things. Uh, the, the first thing is, uh, you want this to function as, as, a, as a part of the car. So what I did is I've uh, used a program called Tasker. It's an Android application. And what that allows you to do is to turn the car uh, on and off. And when you do that, the AC adapter down here at the bottom uh, actually is controlled by the key being turned or not turned. Uh, so when I turn the car on, it will make the, the Nexus device turn on as well. Uh, and when the car turns off, the Nexus 7 will turn off also. And those are some rules that you can configure in that application called Tasker. Uh, so I'm going to turn the car on. As you can see, uh, the, the PC or the Android device starts up right away. And what I can go ahead and do is uh, lots of different things. Uh, the first thing it does when the device turns on is it turns on the Bluetooth and it turns on the Wi-Fi. Uh, so the nice thing about that is I have my trusty Nexus 7 Android device and what I do is is uh, turn on the Wi-Fi on my phone with that one click button this is a CM10 uh, CyanogenMod 10 uh, and it allows oh, for like Wi-Fi to tether. To somebody. Let's pause the radio. Uh, so when I turn that on I have Wi-Fi no matter where I go and that just connects automatically. I don't have to push any buttons on the tablet device I just turn on that Wi-Fi and it's good to go. So let's take a look at this uh, program here called Dash Command. Uh, this particular application is uh, really nice because it taps into the, the ODB2 sensor of the car. So over here on the side of my, my dash, I've got a, a device that plugs in the OBD2 sensor. It's, there's actually a Bluetooth device that costs about $17 on Amazon and uh, I'm able to connect and get lots of different uh, readouts on what my car's doing. I can get a, a speedometer uh, reading, RPM, feet pound of torque, power, horsepower, acceleration, timing, gas mileage, all kinds of things. Once again, this application is called Dash Command. It's, it's pretty neat, pretty useful. Um, also able to use my Google Music uh, and the nice thing about Google Music is that I can um, 
just be on my computer at home and load up a bunch of music and then I come here in my car and all the music is there. I don't have to load it up on the device, it just appears. Uh, so that's actually really nice. So let's go back and uh, take a look at some of the GPS options. I actually prefer to use this one called Waze. Um, and that actually gives you some real-time traffic in addition to uh, a few other things. You can see where other people are, are navigating around and, and doing certain things. So all in all, uh, the Nexus 7 works really well in this car as a GPS unit, as a uh, engine monitoring unit, and it's a uh, quite easy to use as you're driving down the road. You can just kind of tap through and, and do the things you need to do. Um, one thing I would recommend is getting a nice, this one is called the Power Gen Dual Port Car Charger. And this particular uh, device is, is really great because it will actually charge the Nexus uh, at the same time as you're, as you're driving and things. And, and a lot of, of devices like this only work if the device is off and then it will charge it. Uh, if they're not powerful enough, it will just kind of slow down the discharge rate rather than actually charge the Nexus. With this particular power gen, uh, it will actually keep the device on and charging no matter what. So you never run out of battery. Uh, so that's really nice. And the other great thing that I was going to show you, so as you saw, when I pulled that power out, it turned off. So that's another tasker feature. So what I do is if I turn the car off, actually I just turned it on, but let me turn the car off there. Uh, the Nexus will also turn off once it, it uh, has a lack of power. So all in all, the Nexus 7 is really great in this type of scenario. You can get uh, live GPS uh, readings, traffic readings. Uh, it, it talks automatically with Bluetooth to the car stereo. It talks with Bluetooth to the engine and is able to give some really neat uh, graphs and, and information about your car stats. And um, I'm really impressed with it at, in this type of function. And, and the great thing about it is, you know, a new Nexus 7 comes out, a, a new tablet comes out, I can just pop this off and get a new one and put a new one on. Uh, previously I've built computers into my dash and and while it is more seamless, uh, this, this is a pretty slick uh, setup without having to modify your stock car. So all in all, pretty impressed with it. Uh, if you have any questions about how I've done this setup or, or any of the software configuration or the little bits and pieces that are included here, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to respond. And once again, thanks for watching.